Hi guys, welcome back on my channel. Valen here from Valen 3 Tech VST. What a day today. Samsung released a few hours ago an update of the device here. You know about the bug with the battery starts. And right now, I was checking my phone. It's already 10 p.m. my time, just before bedtime, right? And I checked my phone, guys, and apparently they are also pushing an over the air update. Now, I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, the unlocked version. So if you have a Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, guys, just hit here. You know how to do it, right? You have to go to settings. You have to go to software update, right? You can see here an N, which means there is something new. If you don't have it, just go there. And then you can go and you can see the download and install. And the system will check it for you, right? So just check it and hit up the update, guys. So we know right now that the security of the device has been improved. So most probably we are already getting the January security patches, right? Some stability improvements. We don't know really what things are done by Samsung. So I'm going to hit here the install now. And once I'm already on the new system, I'm going to be doing some checks together with you just to see if there are any small, tiny improvements that you know we can see with our eyes and touch with our hands. But the main thing is the main thing. Samsung doing a very good job. I would say, like always, one of the first OEM vendors to really push security updates for our phones. And yeah, it's just Samsung, right? So great job at this one. Sometimes Samsung are even ahead of Google patching their own Pixel devices. So guys, let's just wait for this to finish and let's just see what are the new things beside hopefully the latest security patch. So guys, I have already installed the latest update. What is the time? Local time 10.04, right? And as you can see, this is something important. I wanna draw your attention to that one. Every time you do update your phone with a new system software, after you restart it, right, because that's part of the process when the phone reboots, you're gonna gather this phone is updating, optimizing apps, and then you see how many applications actually, you know, are optimized out of how much you have on the phone. Right now I can see a very big, really stunning number, 477, so maybe I need to reduce some of the application that I'm using, but it is what it is, it's here, and we're gonna be checking soon the version of the security patches. Also important, right, you're gonna see something here called Android system, finishing system update, don't do anything right now, just leave the phone some time to really speed up and install everything, right? We can still check the version of the system update, so I'm gonna hit the settings button. I'm gonna go here to software update, right? And then here we can just see download and install software update. Your phone has been updated. And if you wanna see the last update, this is really the version that we have. So right now we are running the G986U1 UES1 CTL5, right? And this could be also variation, but the CTL5, this is really the latest version. Security patch level, January this year, 232 on megabytes. Again, they just say device stability improvements and bug fixes. All right, let's just see. First thing to notice here, when you do reboot the phone, you're gonna get a notification from Galaxy Lab. Experience a slowdown after software update, boost your phone. And I've done also a video about Galaxy apps and all the applications that are part of it, like the File Guardian, the Battery Tracker, the Battery Guardian, and the Apps Booster. But what is the best time to boost your phone, but not after a system update? So I'm just going to check if the update here is finished. It is finished. So I can go here to Galaxy App Booster. I'm gonna check my device and then boost it. So improve performance up to 15%, okay, why not? Optimize 603 apps. And you can see, by the way, it's really doing some stuff, right? Because after you optimize your phone and you run it again, you're gonna see that it's just doing less work. Some of the apps already optimized are not gonna be optimized for a second time. So right now, this process can take a bit more time, but my advice is every time you do a system update, you know, and actually you're even gonna get a notification from the Galaxy App Booster. It's not mandatory, you can skip this, but if you wanna follow a good practice, guys, every time you system update your phone, then go to the Galaxy Booster from Galaxy Labs and always perform this because it will kind of optimize your application. And at the end of the day, you know, you're gonna get a bit better performance, right? So let's just wait for this process to finish and we're gonna be checking the security updates. As my phone updates, I'm gonna go into the settings and we're gonna go here to biometrics and security, we wanna check the security details. So biometrics and security, all right? And then we can see security update is indeed from the 1st of January, 2021. So I can say hooray to that one. My other phone, which is the OnePlus 8 Pro, still is running on December. 
and I'm using the actually Oxygen OS, the Open Better, right? And here I'm using already One UI 3.0 stable and I'm still getting faster all the updates. Another suggestion that I have guys is besides optimizing your application, we can go back and we can just see that actually this stuff is doing something, right? So another thing that we want to also check every time we do an update is go hit the Galaxy Store and make sure that you do a check if you have some new updates to the Samsung stock apps. Now, if you go to updates, in my case, I'm gonna see nothing because today I updated device care. I am deaf to the Samsung text-to-speech and also the Samsung USB-C driver, but it's a good thing that you can check from here. Another thing that you can check from the Google Play Store is if you have the latest Samsung display driver, so just pull Samsung driver and you're gonna get here Samsung game driver, but just pay attention. There is a version for Mali if you're using Exynos phones and there is also an Adreno version if you're using the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. Right now, I just see that I don't have any updates here, right? But it might be the case that you already missed this update or you never actually installed it, so make sure that you go and you install the game driver because they keep adding support for more and more games and it's supposed to really make the games run smoother on your phone. All right, let's just see where we are with our optimization. 23%, 24%, so you can see it's really taking some time. And by the way, they say that your device may heat up during optimization, so just pay attention for this not to happen. Before I close the video, I want to do one final check and this is really check the version of the launcher. So about home screen, we can see we're running 12.0.0.0, one right? Check for updates, the latest version is installed. Now this is really a very easy way for you guys to access the settings for your home screen, the layout, how many applications should be displayed on the grip, should you display the application names or not. And of course also the rotate to landscape mode, which is something that I'm really very proud when using One UI. So it seems that everything is pretty much the same besides the update that we have with the latest security from January. Again, make sure that you use the Galaxy App Booster to boost your phone a bit and then make sure that you also update all your Samsung stock applications by using the Galaxy Store. Guys, if you like videos like this, you might also want to consider subscribing for my channel and we're gonna catch up in one of my next videos. Until that, guys, stay safe. VST over and bye.